Over the years, celebrities have taken on some gruelling challenges to help raise money for comic relief. But just two weeks ago, 12 brave stars from stage and screen joined forces from across the world to take on Comic Relief's toughest challenge yet. Yes, to perform a brand new adaptation of Cinderella the Pantomime, all on Zoom, all from their own homes, and all without rehearsal. And all to raise money to help people in real need right now. This is Cinderella, a Comic Relief Pantomime for Christmas. This is a tale of love and of malice. It starts in Prince Charming's magnificent palace. It's just like the I'm a Celeb Castle, I reckon, but this one has neither an ant or a deck in. So watch out for those as we go along, by the way, because some of the rhymes are really clever and some of them just, well, less so. On the balcony, a figure so bold and disarming, dashing and handsome, his name is Prince Charming. But the budget for this is a bit of a failure, so you'll have to imagine his royal regalia. Evening, my dear peasants. It is I, your charming prince. And it is I, your normal dandini. I notice I didn't get a fanfare. Now that the prince has turned 21 and he's starting to get on a bit, he needs to find a wife. Uh, I, wait a minute, how old are you exactly? Uh, Doesn't matter, Jimmy. What matters is I can still pass for 21. Yeah, I don't know about that. I know black doesn't crack, but Wikipedia says you're 30. Anyway, Prince Charming would like to invite every lady in the land to a royal ball at the Paris tomorrow night. Like a speed dating thing, but with loads of women and just one rich guy. Me. Thank you, peasants. That is all. You may return to digging holes or doing dumps and ditches or whatever it is you do. So the prince went back to his castle of riches, and the people went back to poop in their ditches. So, Dandini, you know what would be really convenient to the plot? How about I deliver the invitations by hand? You? Yes, but check this. I won't be me. I'll be you. Got it! <laughs> no, I, I haven't. What are you talking about? Okay, look, this is my chance to get out and meet people without a sea of adoring fans and non-stop compliments and about how damn hot I am and the endless supply of free swag. So they had a makeover, these two men so manly. The resemblance between them was truly uncanny. Catch this. You got it? Thank you. Yes. <laughs> I look like Stormzy. <laughs> <laughs> I am Prince Charming. And I am Dandini. In old Hard Up Hall, a mansion in ruin, young Buttons was working and romance was brewing. Hello, everybody. It's your boy Buttons. Say hello, Buttons. Hey, yo, listen, can, can, can someone have a brother out and say hello, Buttons, innit? Hey, Buttons, how you doing, man? You all right? Not that hard, was it? Thank you, brother. Audience participation in this role, to be fair, was always going to be tough. So I'm Buttons, yeah? We done that. I've got a boss called Baron Hardup. And he's got these shady stepdaughters called Beryl and Cheryl and a ghastly wife called Davilia. The end. Merry Christmas. Turn your TVs off. <laughs> Only joking. There's also um, Cinderella. And uh, here's a key plot point. I am deeply in love with her, honey, yeah? What else do you need to know? I mean, none of us are getting paid, which I only found out about <laughs> half an hour ago. And it would be great if you can help us out tonight. It's, it's, it's been a crummy year, I know, to say the very least, but your brilliant generosity during sport relief and the big night in really has made a difference to those that need it, you know? And you can continue to lend your support tonight by going to bbc.co.uk, do a little forward slash comic relief, where you can donate any amount you'd like online and also find out how your money's been spent and how what you give tonight can help us reach people who are gonna be cold and hungry and lonely as New Year starts. There you go, you're up to speed. Shall we go with the story? Yeah, go on, mate. Buttons! Oh, Hawk! Who's that? <laughs> Buttons! All our money problems are over. Oh, listen, yeah, I forgot to say, the Baron's got bare money problems. Buttons, listen, today, I've purchased a racehorse. He's going to make us a fortune. He's called Wheezy Jeff. Wheezy Jeff? Look at him. Look at him. Isn't he a beauty? Better not be someone famous in there or really wasted a cameo. Talking of cameos, do you still need me? 
Oh, no, not really. We've got lots. Thanks. Fair enough. Them's the brakes. <laughs> Au revoir. So, Buttons, isn't Wheezy Jeff the most magnificent stallion you've ever seen? Look into those eyes, what do you see? A very unconvincing horse, bro. I see talent. I see a future winner of the Fairyland Gold Cup. Fairyland Gold Cup? They, they cancelled it, it's a super spreader event. Well, can't they put it on Zoom or something? Yeah, listen, not everything works on Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, things got extremely frightening with the crash of thunder and a bolt of lightning. Oh, uh, hello, Margaret. Collie, wrong show. Oh, sorry. Ah, Davilia, my dear wife. You're just in time to meet our new champion racehorse, Wheezy Jeff. What? That? You joking? That old nag? Oh, well, excuse me, don't call him that. You upset him, look at the pain in his eyes. Davilia. Dear. Oh no, don't you, Davilia, dear me. Honestly, sometimes I wonder, why did I ever marry you? Mm, well, why does anyone marry anyone? Why did Juliet marry Romeo? She didn't. Why did Jake Gyllenhaal marry Maggie Gyllenhaal? Mm, didn't. They're siblings. Melania. Why did she marry Donald Trump? I remember now. Money, I married you for your money. Whatever happened to all that? You spent it, dear. You promised me wealth, status, and a big, big home for my beautiful daughters, Beryl and Cheryl, and not a pathetic horse. I say that. You made him cry. What's that crying? Well, you better make something of this racehorse, or you'll be getting a one-way ticket to Dumpsville. I will. And Davilia made a dramatic exit. Okay, she left, she left fairly normally. <laughs> She's still there. <laughs> yeah, so boss, uh, what are we going to do with Weezy? Um, well, he just needs a bit of training. I'll entrust you to that while I go off and learn the rest of my lines. They asked me very late because Daniel Day-Lewis said no. And Anthony Hopkins and Danny Dyer. But look! Here comes Cinderella, the world's most wonderful woman. So then she arrived with much grace and aplomb. Cinderella, Cinders, the famous sea bomb. Ah. Hello, Buttons. Hi, Cinderella. Hi, fancy seeing you here. I live here, as do you. Yes! Damn, I missed it up already. Who's your furry friend? Huh? Oh, this guy. This is, this is Wheezy, Wheezy Jeff. He's a horse. You're not, though. You're a woman. You seem strangely nervous. Huh? Nah, listen, I'm not nervous. We, 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 we is the nervous one. Look, he, he probably thinks you're the, 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 the prettiest, kindest, most gorgeousest person who ever lived of all time or something like that. We just stop looking at her, please. Look, Cinders, uh, there's, there, there's something I want to ask you, yeah? I was wondering if... Yes? I was wondering if... Yes? I was wondering if... Uh, you're okay. You seem to be stuck in a loop. Listen, see, I'm just going to come out and say it, yeah? I think you are proper nice... Go out with me! I can't believe I just said it. Sorry, the Buttons. Lost Wi-Fi connection there for a second. Um, what did you say? Brilliant. Now, now I was just saying, want to have a drink? Yes. That would be lovely, Buttons. Um, tea. Two sugars. Look, I'll be back in a moment. I just have to go down to the cellar and get some firewood. See you later, alligator. Oh, it's me again. Sorry. Um... Right, we continue our tale for one and for all. My words aren't moving up, so I've had to come to a store. No, no, no. <laughs> very good. Oh, oh very good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. 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 There's a, a technical right. hitch there. Sorry, here we go one more time. We continue our tale for one and for all outside the doors of Hard Up Hall. The story continues, but it will fail if I don't introduce two comic bailiffs. We need light relief to brighten this patch. Please welcome Mrs. Snitch and Mr. Snatch. So can we, uh, can we say Hello. Snatch on the BBC? Oh, can you carry on? Carry on. <laughs> Hello, here we are. Mrs. Snitch and Mr. Snatch, the main ones from yes. the story. Everyone knows the bailiffs in Cinderella. Everyone. Excuse me, sir, could you tell us where Hard Up Hall is, please? Who are you? 
Well, how, why do you even have to ask that? We're 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 snitch and snatch the main the main ones from Cinderella. The, the local bailiffs from fairy town land, my friend. Okay, yes. Yeah, so, so why why are you looking for Harrow Hall? Because we are going to empty it out. The Baron is in huge debt. Oh no. Oh yes. He had a lot of shares in Blockbuster Video. Sorry, I should say at this point, some of the jokes in this script are from 2013, when that joke would have killed. Um, and children, uh, Blockbusters is like Netflix, but um, but it takes less time to choose a film. Okay, Karen. Oh, Bussons, there you are. Who are these two delightful trespassers? Sorry, can 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 one of you please just tell us where Hard of Hall is? Hard of Hall. Why, yes, it's right here. Hey, shush. Uh, it's that way. It's over, it's over there. What do you mean? It's, it's right here. Or my name isn't Baron Hardup. Yeah, but your name isn't Baron Hardup, innit? Because these guys are local bailiffs. Bailiffs? Hey, uh, yes, you're, you're absolutely right. My name isn't Baron Hardup. My name is, um, what's my name, Buttons? Eh? Uh? Uh, your name is, is Baron Lord Alan Sugar. That's right, my name is Baron Lord Alan Sugar. What, from The Apprentice? No, the, I'm the other one, the, ni the nice one. Oi, you're fired. But I don't work for you. All right, you're hired. Hooray, our money problems are over. <laughs> and now, you're fired. Oh, bad luck. Well, Thanks for the opportunity, Lord Sugar. So, as we were saying, where is Hard Up Hall? Uh, it's over there, miles away. That's right, yeah? You, you've got to go off that side of the screen, you go out the door, straight on, second left, do a third right, then take the dog leg, you, you can't miss it. There. Right, okay, well, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Come along, Mr. Snatch. I thought that was a cracking for a scene. Do you? Oh, I thought. felt very good. I just really want another guy that blockbuster line. It's it's such a good I joke. Know, I don't think you're going to get it, mate. Such... Anyways, we go this way. We go off the side of the screen, out the door, straight on, second left, third right. And then you take the dog leg and we just can't, we can't miss it. Is that it? Are you going That's the right way, it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just... I'm Buttons, just look at this letter. It's from St. Dimwit School for the Not Particularly Gifted. It's my stepdaughters, Beryl and Cheryl. They've been expelled. Just send them to another school. <laughs> I don't think another primary school's going to take two 24-year-olds. We're home! Oh, no. Then, into the manor, walk two girls a-quibbling. The Baron's stepkids and Cinder's step-sibling. It's us, Bez and Yeah, Jess. just two definitively divine 24-year-olds. And twins. Identical. In every respect. We even finish each other's sentences. Sentences. We got that twin instinct, don't we? We do. We know exactly what each other's thinking. Pin number is. You know my pin number? No, babes, of course not. Uh, just look, here comes Mum. Yes, here I am. Mummy's here. Darling. <gasps> Beautiful girls. Did the horrible teachers at school send my little cherubs home? It was so unfair to expel us, Mummy. We just sat there dead still doing nothing. No, but that's sweetie. That's what you're supposed to do. Apparently not doing PE. But then, when we ran all over the place and climbed up the walls, we still got in trouble. That was in maths. Oh, uh, well, there's one rule for this, one rule for that. How's anyone supposed to keep up? Anyway, what can I do to make things better, my darlings? Um, give us hmm? money? Great idea! Whatever you crazy youngsters are into these days. <laughs> Take some money from your stepfather's stash that he hides under his mattress so I can't find it. Thank you, Mummy. Meanwhile, look at this large stately home I see before me. It's an utter pigsty. I really must get that downtrodden, yet weirdly upbeat Cinderella, to clean every inch of this place. Make her do it twice! Oh, yes, why not? I mean, I can't have her lazing around like a... like a... like a... Like, Cheryl, can you be a sweetheart and complete my <coughs> analogy, will you? Uh, you can't have her lazing around like a, a biscuit? Kind of works. I guess biscuits aren't very active. Now, let's go get the Baron's cash. And while we do, don't forget, it'd be great if you could give us a little of your cash tonight to support someone hungry or cold or alone. You can donate 5, 10, 20 or £30 by text 
Text will cost your donation amount plus your standard network message charge and 100% of your donation will go to Comet Relief. You must be 16 or over and have the bill player's permission. You'll find the full terms and conditions and more information at bbc.co.uk forward slash Comet Relief where you can also give any amount you like online over Christmas and New Year. We can fight loneliness, cold and hunger together. The evil de Villiers and her daughters left the scene and our ray of perfect sunlight popped back on the screen. Buttons, I'm back from the cello. Took the elevator this time. Buttons? Buttons! Good evening, young lady. I'm a grizzled old man. Yes, the moustache tells the whole story. It will, will quite. Um, and I am so cold, I wish I had some firewood like the wood you're carrying, um, currently holding in your hands. And, and let me add, this is not a test of your kindness. Why would you say that? Um, because you may be thinking, oh, is this, is this a test? But it's not. Well, it feels like a test now. No, it's not. Um, I'm just a normal old man, somehow in your house, asking for firewood. <laughs> I've got some firewood you can have for free. Oh, thank you, young lady. Well, she's passed the test. So it was a test? No, no, it wasn't. No, anyway, thanks for the wood. You will soon receive a great reward for your beautiful spirit. Poof. Oh, I've vanished. Oh, it's busy today. Let me open the door. Hello, I'm the prince. No, wait, not the prince. I mean, I'm the prince's servant, Dandini. Nailed it. Knew this wouldn't be a problem. Do you want an invitation? An invitation to what? My royal ball. The, the royal ball. Oh, I'm sorry, I should give you that invitation, shouldn't I? <laughs> With my hand that reaches into your screen. Oh, impressive prop work. Is this invite real? Of course, Miss... Uh... Cinderella. Cinderella. Gosh, that's a nice name. Uh, wh what's your last name? Hard up. Well, it's good you'll be taking my name then. Sorry, what? Uh, no, sorry, I said uh, you will please come to the ball, won't you? Will there be a substantial meal? Yes, scotch eggs, obviously, which constitutes a substantial meal these days. Then I'd love to come. Can't wait to see you again, Cinderella. Well, until then, goodbye. Goodbye, sweet sir. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> You're beautiful, it's true. I saw your... Thank you, that'll do. No, no, but if I don't finish the chorus, I don't get any royalties. Yes, I know, that's, that's why I'm, I'm stopping you. James Blunt, everyone! <laughs> now go away, please. Elsewhere, in the market square of the town, Dandini stood wearing Prince Charming's royal crown. Oh, look, Chef Babes, it's him, the Prince. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Let us approach him with charm and mysterious seduc seductiveness. <coughs> Oi, Fetty, over here. <coughs> oh, hello there, ladies. Um, I don't suppose you've seen the Prince. Oh, uh, well, you're the Prince. <laughs> Yes, I uh, am the prince. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Can I marry you now? No, you can't ask yet. I'm sorry about my sister, we're big fans. Can we get a selfie? Uh, sure. <laughs> I'll grab mum, get her to take it. <gasps> so, suddenly, we're alone. <laughs> you made this happen, didn't you? <laughs> No, I didn't. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Yes, you <laughs> did, you dirty devil. Uh, oh, 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 look! Your sister's coming back. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, hello, Prince Charming. Um, so, you've met my beautiful daughters. And I know what you're thinking. You do have permission to marry either of my daughters. Or oh, both. Well, have them both. Well, well, um, let's, you know, see... How the ball goes, shall we? <laughs> Meanwhile, Snitch and Snatch were downhearted. They seemed to be back where they had started. Mr. Snatch, just feel like we haven't got quite the airtime that we've deserved, you know? 
Yeah, odd, isn't it, considering we're sort of basically the leads in this thing. Anyway, we did exactly what we were told. We went through the door, straight on, second left. Third right, <laughs> took the dog leg. And realised our mistake. <laughs> Apologised <laughs> and gave the dog back his leg. <laughs> ah, it was a joke. It was, it was a double meaning. Yeah. Like and so, after yeah. all, we still haven't found hard up hole. Yeah. And worse than that, Mr. Snatch, no money. We're skint. With hours to go before the grand ball, we returned to fair cinders inside hard up hall. She was happily tidying everything neatly, sweeping and dancing and singing so sweetly. My humps, my humps, my humps, my humps, my lovely lady looks. Sorry, probably a little, a little sweeter than that, please, Cinders. Sorry, um... My humps, my humps, my lovely lady lumps. Check it out. Better? Uh, marginally. Hey, you seem chirpy, Cinders. Well, I am, Buttons. I've been invited to the royal ball by my dream man, Prince Charming. That hurts. She gone for the posh boy. But I shan't be allowed to go anywhere until I've got the whole house clean from top to bottom. Twice, for some weird reason. Well, I'll give you a hand. Sorry, everyone. That'll be my Morrison's delivery. Back in a sec. No buttons? Tis I. Dandy... Oop. Dandini. Not the prince. Wait, good. Did you say Morrison's? Thought you'd be rocking a card these days. You might. Yeah, brother Lizard, lots of acting work got COVID cancelled. Although, wait. This could be an opportunity for another tiny cameo. Let's just see if there is anyone at the door. It's that you're lovely muted. Scotsman. Muted. Oh no, muted. David, you're muted. <laughs> oh, David. Should we pick that up? <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas! Hi, Al. As you know, Christmas is a time for gifts and presents. And if anyone watching tonight could spare just a minute to give something that would be amazing. Your gift tonight would really make a difference to someone whose life is really hard. There is a lot of need out there, but there's also a lot of really good work being done. So if you possibly can, please donate online, or you could give five pounds, 10 pounds, 20 pounds, or 30 pounds by text. Super easy. We'll put all the details on the screen while we show you a little bit about how you can really make a difference. I'm Claire from Mid Surrey Community Fridges. We are seeing a huge rise in the need for food at this time. Our queues at our fridges are longer, people are queuing for over an hour before we open. We are packing food for people who will not be able to cope over the Christmas period this year. These are people who are having to choose between presents or washing powder, toothbrushes or food. It's really serious and it's getting worse. Please help. the show. If I could have a joke next time, that'd be nice. Let's be honest, pal. It's not like there's a lot of jokes going around here. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, nice to see you on the way. Bye, Daddy. Sooner someone else gets Bye. murdered in Broadchurch, the better, eh? All right. Yeah, see ya. I know. Ho, ho, Bye. ho. Bye. Thank you, uh, but back to Cinderella. Right. Hello. Looking for Lady Beryl and Cheryl hard up? Yeah, uh, I'm afraid they're not here just now. But uh, this is Miss Cinderella hard up. Oh. Hello again. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, no, no, not every time. They get it. Fair enough. Cinderella, of course you live here too. I've just come to deliver your sister's invitations. You're still coming to the ball tonight, aren't you? Yep. You only asked me about five minutes ago. Right. Uh, <laughs> great news. Love it. Yo, sorry everyone. That definitely will be the shopping. I'll be back in a minute. No, that was me, Cheryl. Oh, and me, Beryl. Oh, look, babes. A new man has just entered the villa. Wouldn't mind doing bits with him. Ladies, uh, I am His Royal Highness's aide, Dandini, obviously. And I have your invitations for tonight's ball. Here, take them. I'll hand one to you over here. Why, well, thank you for this I invitation. Uh, and one for you. Oh, what a uh, beautifully designed invite. 
so where is the ball? Well, it's at the Fairyland Palace. Is that the main Fairyland Palace or Fairyland Palace Total Landscaping? The main Fairyland Palace, which is located between a crematorium and an adult bookshop. Now, if you'll excuse me, ladies, I have more invitations to hand out. You know, Cinderella, I feel sorry for you, babes. Don't. The whole show's named after me. All day you have to be our servant. You don't even get an invitation to the ball like Bezza and I. <laughs> Actually, I, I have got one. How the hell did you get that? Dandini gave me it. How did you actually get the prop? Because I just, I just had to get a bedazzle magazine. The production team delivered it to me before we started filming. It's a whole serious dramatic actors versus comedians bias, isn't it? One scene in which you blub a bit and everyone's all over you. But, but of course they bloody did. Sorry. <laughs> uh, 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 servant girls shouldn't be allowed to go to the ball. Well, you will take Cinderella's invitation. And tear, tear it. Gone. Very easily, because I'm wicked. Anyway, right, biological daughters, let's get you looking extra beautiful for tonight and bag ourselves a prince. See you later, Cinderella. Ta ra! Oh no! Why can't anything good ever happen to me? I mean, this morning I had an invitation to the prince's ball and now it's been ripped up into tiny pieces. Tiny pieces. Will I ever be happy again? Will I ever be happy again? Oh, gosh, again? Oh. So I thought I could squeeze in my tea before I have to do this bit. Anyway, um, so big news. It's time for an advert break. Um, Collie, we're on the BBC, love. There's no adverts. Oh. I mean, it's news to me that this is even on telly. Right, so... Um, what will happen now? Is Cinderella cursed? Will it turn out for the best or turn out for the worst? <laughs> Keep watching, or you'll never know. Of course, Susan, the incredibly famous person inside the horse. <laughs> and if Prince Charming will find a love divine. Now I must find a bog, because it's interval time. Ice cream! Water! No! Um, sorry, what are you doing? Olivia! I'm selling refreshments. Oh, Reggie, do you want an ice cream? Yeah, I do actually. All right, Um, have you got mint chocolate chip there? No! I've only got vanilla. All right, fine. One, two pounds, please. Twenty. Quid, all right. Fair enough, a bit steep, but it's all going to comic relief. Um, I'm gonna get the semi last tenner that I've got. No, you get wrong. It's all fluffy, baby. <laughs> See ya. Well, yep, yeah, thank you for the ice cream anyway. 20 quid's worth. Um, right, well. While we're away, uh, you've got a gorgeous Christmas performance by Sam Smith, everybody. And it'd be so great if you could find it in your hearts now to go online or text us a little cash while they sing. The money's going to do so much good for people who are cold or lonely or hungry or simply not safe. And we can help change that. And it brings such joy when we do. But in the meanwhile, here's Sam. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Make the Yuletide gay From now on Your troubles will be miles away Here we are as in olden days Happy golden days
Thank you so much for your generosity and do keep giving if you can. Meanwhile, back in Fairyland, poor Cinderella. Hey, boy, get out of it. You can't go around taking other people's roles. Oh, I see. But it was fine when you took over from me, was it? Ma'am. Yeah, deal with it. I'm the fairy godmother and I'm the queen. Ladies, ladies, this is a charity pantomime, not a competition to find out who's the best queen on Netflix. And come on, we all know who'd win that one. Checkmate. As I was saying, <clears throat> poor Cinderella could not go to the ball, so she lay on the floor and she started to ball. So that's B-A-W-L, so technically it is a rhyme, it's just not a very good one. <laughs> <laughs> Cinders, what's wrong? Buttons, I can't go to the ball. My stepmother tore up my invitation. Well, listen, baby, if you ain't going, I ain't going. But you ain't going. Yeah, that's what I said, keep up. Look, Cinders, if neither of us can go to the ball, then, then, then perhaps instead we can go somewhere, somewhere better. Yeah, might be good to squeeze in a quick sissy break before Brexit paperwork kicks in. Yeah, no, I, I, I mean using the power of our imaginations, like... How about going somewhere better than the palace? How about the most famous castle in all the land? Isn't it beautiful? What? It's behind you. Where? Hi. It's behind you! Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it. Um, wait, uh, what does that sign say? Yo, you seriously need to get your eyes tested, you know? Right, well, thank you for trying to cheer me up, Buttons. Yeah, that's okay. Good night then. I'd better get back to sweeping up rat poo. Yeah, uh, uh, Cinders? Yes, Buttons? <gasps> this delivery man! Oh, uh, no, it is, it is me, uh, the grizzled old man. With a very different looking moustache. Yes, Cinderella, I came to thank you for giving me wood. Uh, and, and surprise, it was in fact a test. I am not an old man. I am actually your fairy godmother. I'm not sure what's more shocking, the reveal or the effort you've gone to with the ripped up paper, but <laughs> nice one. Respect. Look, look, <clears throat> look, Cinderella, I know you love balls, especially big ones. So I'm here to tell you, you shall go to the ball after all. Thank you. Not for the single entendres, but for helping me go to the Parsi. Ball. I deliberately said Parsi. Yes, and I deliberately said ball. It's funnier. Um, now, leave it me. You won't look so tragic, because I'll fix it all with a stroke of magic. Soon above your weight you'll be punching. I just need two lizards, two mice and a pumpkin. Good luck getting a pumpkin in December, mate. Oh, I have a pumpkin spice latte. Any use? It'll have to do. <clears throat> With the poke of my wand, these two mice become horses. The lizards now coachmen, two humans, of course. And finally, this thing is what they will drive. A, a pumpkin spice latte carriage in which to arrive. Wow, I can see all the things you're saying just off screen. Yes. Shame we can't show the views down home, innit? I know. And finally, to make you a pretty princess, Abracadabra! A royal ball dress! Oh, um, hang on a minute. Let me just, um, <laughs> yeah. What incredible magic now. I can't believe my eyes. Well, the, hang on, the bloody zipper's stuck. <gasps> I can't believe my eyes. And what beautiful crystal slippers you've got on. Let's see them, go on. Really? Okay, well, um, <laughs> here they are. So elegant and classy. Ah, it's very classy. I shall leave now. I've finished my magical missions. But first, please agree to these terms and conditions. <clears throat> The recipient of the magic understands that they are liable for any accidents during that time, which are highly likely given that the drivers are lizards. Fairy Godmother PLC can't guarantee that the horse mice won't get distracted by the smell of cheese. The dress will turn back to rags at midnight. The coach will turn back into pumpkin spice latte at midnight. Basically, everything turns back at midnight, except for some reason, one slipper. Do you agree with these terms and conditions? I'll be honest, I zoned out, but yeah, sure, I agree. Shut up! Oh. 
So, and I've, I've now I've disappeared. Uh, I'm gone. Oh, sorry, I've done it too early. I've got a few more. No, never mind. I'll do them, I'll do them from down here. So finally, Cinders did go to the ball where the master of ceremonies greeted them all. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, tis I, Major Domo. Look, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I thought we said we were told to wear our own clothes. I am. Well, so that's something that you actually own, is it? This whole thing, yeah. Can I carry on with my lines now, or do you want to steal more of my only scene? Oh, no, no, you do your lines. Oh, she wins one Oscar. <clears throat> Welcome to the Palace Ballroom. I'm Major Domo, and I'm here to welcome our esteemed guest to the ball. I actually auditioned to play the role of Baron Harder, but as everyone's always telling me, Tom Holland is so bloody great. I actually haven't seen anything he's been in, but back to my small but perfectly formed part. <clears throat> Please put your hands together for Dan Dini and His Royal Highness Prince Charming. No! No! Too kind, really. If you could both please just scan the QR code on the door as you enter. Uh, oh, uh, for track and trace? Yes, it'll just make it easier to contact anyone who might run away from the ball early. It happens. Now please give a big royal welcome to Miss Beryl, Miss Cheryl, Lady Davilia, and Baron Harder. Why, why, yeah, man. Look, babes. There's that Prince Charming, although he's not wearing the crown anymore. Oh, yeah, Prince Charming. What a lovely name. Actually, I think we're probably a bit late in the show to be doing the mistaken identity gag. I'm not Prince Charming. I beg your pardon? I, I, I'm actually his manservant, Dandini. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we nearly snogged you. Excuse me. Sorry, can someone remove this imposter from the ballroom, please, now? Imposter? Sorry, madam, can you just please lower your frankly grating voice? It's just, it's, it's too much. No. Yeah, or well, it's going to be you that we're escorting from the premises. How very dare you? Right, that's it. I've had it with you. Come on, Mr. Snatch. Let's expel this foul-tempered old crone. Can you go easy on that old bit? You know, I could pass for 25 in the right light. Well, I mean, yeah, if the right light is complete darkness. <laughs> yes, all right then. Hop at your middle age in the right light, crone. Well, no, sorry. No one is kicking me out of this castle. Don't worry. It's not as bad as it sounds. When I was kicked out of a castle, I got handed a free drink by two Geordie schoolboys. Who was that? Who's he? What's his deal? He's actually a knight of the realm. Yep. I'm um, Sir runs a lot. What's going on over here? Um, I'll tell you what's going on over here, Your Highness. The equine deal of the century. How would you like to pay me a million pounds for a stake in the charismatic and speedy Wheezy Jeff? Out of the way, daddy -o. Hello, <laughs> Prince. Now, I don't just say this to just anyone, but will you marry me? Don't marry her. Why well, have burgers? when you can have a kebab. <laughs> Hang on, everyone. We have a late arrival, and I have an extra line. Please welcome our final guest, the enchanting, the bewitching, the beguiling, the simply divine... Sorry, David, can you stop bigging up your role? It, it, it's actually like none of you have ever even watched Britain's Got Talent. I actually judge talent. No. And I'm actually the main judge on it, apart from Simon Cowell. My lords, ladies and gentlefolk, it's Princess Crystal. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Woo Princess, allow me to present His Royal Highness Prince Charming without James Blunt for a change. Princess, a thousand welcomes. Bit odd though. I invited every woman in this land and if you're a princess, that means you're my sister. Well, no worries. Royals love marrying relatives. May I have the first dance? Yes. Of course. This was her moment. This was her chance. So Cinders and Charming both started their dance. Somehow. Oh, Princess, with you here by my side, I feel I could dance the whole night through. Well, Your Highness, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid I can't dance all night long. I must leave before the clock strikes midnight. Then let's dance while we can. Babes, she's got a nerve. Who even is she? Dunno. 
but she's totally breaking the girl code. What a good knocker blocker. Let's hit the bar, babes. Mine's a baby sham and Lucas aid. Yep, class and energy. <sighs> Thank oh. you for that dance, your highness. It was a most vigorous routine and yet you've barely broken a sweat. Well, as we all know, princes don't sweat. <laughs> now, Cinderella. No, no, um, Princess Crystal? Totally different person. Yep. Don't know why I said that, sorry. Princess Crystal. Yes. I feel like I know you already. I look at you and I feel a kind of enchantment. I feel that way too. It was an honour to share that dance. And maybe one day, maybe one day we might share everything. Oh, could we make an exception on toothbrushes? I've always felt kind of weird about that. Yeah, I'm with you on that one, actually. Why don't you dance with that fugly Princess Crystal? Yes. It's frustrating for me too, girls. I was on the brink of getting the prince to invest in Wheezy Jeff. Look how disappointed he is. <laughs> now I'll never find a husband who's fit and rich. There's more to a husband than looks and money. Says a bloke with neither. It's a bit rude. And I'm back. But hark, what's that sound? The bells of the palace clock are chiming midnight. Ah, there you go. Which means it's time to take your partners for the last waltz. Midnight? Oh no, alas and alack, I must go. Wait, one last dance, please, Cinderella. Oh, it's Princess Crystal. Yo, Princess Crystal, yep, sorry, totally got it. I've searched for you all my life and I can't lose you now. Oh. I honestly don't know what he sees in her. What's she got that we haven't? Better agent. I heard that. Princess Crystal, where are you going? Please come back. Princess Crystal! Oh, she's totally vanished. Can't see her anywhere. But wait, Your Highness. Look there on the dance floor. She left behind her crystal slipper. What intricate craftsmanship. See how it sparkles. The Very CGI. Good. Wait, really let me see. Work. Pass it over. Uh, oh, got it? <laughs> yes, uh, she has left. Never have I seen such sophisticated footwear in all my life, and so, please don't let me do it. So, beautifully fragrant, too. Dandini, we must find her. Uh, there is only one thing for it. Every lady in the land must try on this fragrant shoe, and whomever it fits, she shall be my bride. If she consents. Uh, now, let's break from the story for this small appeal. Why not help change someone's life, but this time for real? The coronavirus is affecting all of us in ways we could never have imagined. But it's hitting some people so much harder than others. That's who the money raised is going to help. The people who need it most. Laughter and kindness will get us through this, and hopefully when we look back on this weird time, we'll remember that despite being apart, we were more together than ever. Please give, if you possibly can. Thank you. Was the morning after the night before, while Cinders was once again sweeping the floor, she dreamt of her evening, picked over the pieces, and smiled to herself as she swept the rat feces. <sighs> oh, Buttons, I'm so very happy. Yeah, yeah, I'm made up for you. Well, the prince is the man of my dreams. Hello, excuse me, Cinderella. Is there someone else you could talk to about your love life? No, silly, I want to talk about it with you. You're my friendliest friend. Actually, if there was a zone where I could put all of my friends, you would be right in the middle yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You two are an item now. <laughs> no. How you what now? I ran away before the magic wore off. I was worried that if you saw the real me, me without the fairy godmother's magical makeover, well, he simply wouldn't be interested. Look at this bone idle pair chittering and chattering and nittering and nattering away. <laughs> Did you have a nice time at the ball? No! 
The whole evening was ruined by some stuck-up little princess with titchy tiny little feet. So small, you could probably buy little kiddie shoes. Save on the VAT and all that. Great life hack, babes. Tweet that. The prince was obsessed, kept talking about her. Really? What did he say? Oh, just, he said he's going to travel the land with the slipper she left behind to find his one true love, etc, etc. So, he could turn up with a crystal slipper for us to try on any moment now? Listen, that must be the Morrisons dude, okay? I really should have picked a different delivery slot. No, Bussons, tis I, the Prince. Cinderella! Cinderella, listen, before I open that door to the Prince and you two hook up on that, there's something I have to say. But before I do, can I just check? Is your internet connection working right now? Yep, really clear. Go ahead. Great. So what I want to say is, Cinderella, long, 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 life. You understand what I'm saying? Not even nearly. But before he could tell Cinderella, I feel ya. Into the room bursts her stepmom, Davilia. What? Fine! I'll answer the door if no one else is going to. Oh, it's shoe time! Wait, Cinderella? What are you doing here? Well, I'm going to try on the slipper just like everybody else. Oh, shut up. I don't think His Royal Highness will want to go anywhere near a grubby little servant girl like you. Daughters? Lock her up! Um, how exactly do we do that? I don't know. Maybe just put her on mute? Uh, excuse me, I... Excuse me, lads, please, I'll make way for a palace security. And his royal heartless, Prince Charming! Ladies, uh, my royal aide here has the crystal slipper. Vandini, if you will. Marvel at the dazzling crystal as it sits oh. atop the velvet cushion. Ah, your majesty, welcome to Hard Up Hall. Come in and try your slipper on each of my three... Two. Two. Daughters. Two. <laughs> Me first, your highness, your sauce pot. Now it's mine. I can tell it fits me by just looking at it. Uh, I'm afraid it does have to be tried on, uh, Dandini. Really? Okay. Um... Hang on. Has anyone got some WD-40? <laughs> okay. Just pop this thing on. It fits! It fits! It fits? It definitely fits, trust me. There you go, look. Uh, could you maybe lift lift it up so we can see clearly? Not really, no. You have to. Okay, it doesn't fit all right. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I'll be taking that back. Thank you very much. It's like the glamorous flips off of mine. It seems we're out of luck, sir. Maybe time for a less shoe-based approach to dating. Have you seen Naked Attraction? Wait! Wait, oh, wait, okay. What about Cinderella? I can't believe I'm saying this, but she deserves a chance to try on the slipper too. It's what a moment of nobility this is, isn't it? I bet no one thought my character had this emotional depth, but I do. Cinderella? Do you mean the servant girl I fell in love with at the beginning of the pantomime, who now I come to think of it looked weirdly similar to the mysterious Princess Crystal, just wearing a different dress? Do you mean that Cinderella? That's the one, smarty pants. Mm -mm. Oh, she's gone out. Shame. No, she ain't, man. She's just on mute. Look. Right, that's it. Snitch, snatch. Unmute her at once. Of course, your lordship. No problem. Um, how do we do just that, though? There, I think. Do you see the three dots, uh, yes. Mr. Snatch? Do you see the? You have to press that. No, okay. no, the different button. You're not that one. Mm -hmm. Like just, oh god, this would be so. Just feel, it feels like this is something that someone from the technological side of the rather than actor. I, I feel a lot like of this pressure is beyond our. Now we're what? Now we're doing. Oh, it. <laughs> yeah, there she is. She's okay. in. So. There she is. Great, great job, great work. Cinderella, will you do me? 
Hang on, I'm gonna scroll up here a little bit. Sorry, just turning the page. Cinderella, will you do me the honor of trying on this crystal slipper? I will. Right, I'm just gonna pass that across to you. Uh, okay, what, what happened? This is an actual glass slipper. Maybe there really is magic in the world after all. No, I just passed you the prop they sent us. Cinderella, don't make me wait any longer. Let's just hurry up and try it on. I want to know if it fits. All right then, all right. Calm down. Here it goes. Okay. the story of Mrs. Snitch and Mr. Snatch. Thank you for watching. Sorry, can, can you back off? It's not your story? Wait, just because a shoe fits, it doesn't mean anything. There's probably a lot of people in this town with size six feet, so don't you want to try them first? You've only got now a long time slot. Cinderella, this just leaves me with one big question. And that question is, is marriage an outdated concept that people should never, ever rush into? No, it's Cinderella. Will you marry? No, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop there. <laughs> you need to ask her father's permission first. Right, of course. Uh, Baron Hardup, may I have your beautiful and very good at chess daughter's hand in marriage? You may, on one condition. That I love and cherish her for the rest of our lives together? No, that you buy my horse. Right, of course. He looks like a real winner. Ah, uh, I do love a happy ending. Cinderella, I know it's been a bitter whirlwind and crazy, but true love really is a thing. So will you marry me? Yes. <gasps> I mean, of course we'll have to get to know each other first and establish an equal relationship based on mutual trust and understanding. Oh, come on! Yeah. Oh, okay, sorry, yes, of course, I'll marry you. Oh, hooray! Actually, you know, she's got a point. I mean, I look around this room, I see a lot of potential for true love. Mrs. Snitch and Mr. Snatch, you work together for years. Why not tie the knot? Become Mr. and Mrs. Snitch Snatch. Well, I never thought of it. And Davilia and Hardup, you used to love each other, right? Give it another go, can you? Now that Cinderella's the richest woman in the kingdom. And Beryl, come on, admit it. You felt a wee twinge for Dandini, didn't you? No. No, 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 you've got that wrong. And Cheryl, that Major Domo is a, is a reasonably good looking man. Come on, it's Christmas. There's always time for more love and kindness. After all, that's why we're all here, isn't it? Merry Christmas! And I'll leave the penultimate word to Buttons. Hey, your cinders. I hope... Yes, Buttons? I hope you'll both be very happy. Oh, thank you, Buttons. I love you so, so, so much. Just not in that way. And then, as the final footnote of bliss, Cinders and Charming did finally kiss. Come here. Just so, uh, with, with tongues. No, you, you, said, you said I had a line? All right, go on then. Thank, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, now there's just one thing left for me to say. Yes, it's Merry Christmas. Thank you and good night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here to play us out, really hoping you'll take this last opportunity to give, it's Leona Lewis singing Oh Holy Night! Yes, but...
Find a collection of Christmas specials from your favourite series on iPlayer. Press red to watch them now. Next on BBC Two, a banquet with a difference for key worker heroes. Great British Christmas menu.